you know, life orb, mm. heavy duty boots, mm. whatever, dark glasses, mm. Hornberry. Uh, what's up? I'm disintegrating still. Recently I got an email from a person of the name OX04. As you can see what I'm showing right here is Uber's top 500 and this person is number 5. When they messaged me they were number 2. You know they wrote me and they said I'm a big fan I've always liked your content and you know I just have a few replays to share with you as I am um, you know high ladder Ubers and maybe this is interesting to you. Um, and even funnier I'm gonna tell you something that we're gonna get to it but you have seen Orenberry Blissey, right? What you haven't seen yet is Orenberry Eveltal at this elo. So Ox here shared a lot of replays with me. I'm not gonna show everything, I'm pretty sure, because a lot of these battles are pretty long. But I'm definitely gonna show the ones that are really interesting and that I find very interesting. I'm sure you can catch Ox in the uh, comments to this video, so if you have any questions, then, you know, Ask him there, um, you know, and Ox, if you think I missed anything, then please let me know in the comments too. Yeah, they, they wrote me on uh, Discord and on email. I don't want to show everything there because it's like, you know, I just don't want to show private messages for whatever reason. So so why don't we just kick it off, right? Let's see what happens in this one. This is um, 1648, it says on the bottom, ELO. So we have a Scarfed Genesec versus a ho -Oh, and ho -Oh, of course, is very good of an answer. But there is a Palkia and Thunder Wave seems to be in the name of the game here, unfortunately, too. Um, we do get paralyzed on the Palkia. And the Bliss, he goes for Seismic Toss on the Marshadow. I mean, I don't really see why, but there is a double back into Kyogre on the ho -Oh, which is really good. <coughs> but, you know, Ferrothorn comes in. Water Spout eats it up, like this Blissey needs to come in or the Ferrothorn is dead. And actually opts it to go Eternatus, and Eternatus has a Balloon. And then Eternatus is bulky, but nothing really likes to get Kyogre at all. Like there's nothing that Kyogre doesn't like. I think Blissey is the only answer, anyway. So yeah, here we go, there is a ho -Oh that takes an Ice Beam to the face, doesn't really care because ho -Oh is super specially defensive with Regenerator and Roost, you're not breaking through with this thing. Brave Bird does a lot of damage, that's another thing that's unfortunately the case with this Pokemon. And here is the Kyogre again. Kyogre of course threatens another Water Spout and that's exactly what happens, Eternatus is nowhere near a check to this unfortunately, or fortunately for us, but you know. Uh, here's an Eveltal and this is an Eveltal off and as you can see there's a knockoff and this is very important like keep this in mind knock off life orb right keep this this is this is a key to why I said at the beginning that Brailu uh, sorry what Oren Berry Eveltal is uh, is meta it's it's actually meta like you'll see okay sacred fire unfortunately burns it doesn't matter that that much it is just a little bit unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Blissey comes in, Kyogre is the switch. I think it was a safe switch, but look at that critical hit. It is a critical hit after all, but it's a Blissey and it still gets two shot. Like, that's insane, right? It's insane. I, I know the crit mattered. You know, you don't have to tell me in the comments that the crit mattered, but it's insane. Okay, knockoff, of course, does no, no damage now because uh, of, of our life for being knocked off. And here is a taunt on the Kyogre, which is another interesting one. And a knockoff does a lot of damage, so I'm pretty sure Water Spout is not the play. And it is Thunder, and Thunder gets Paralysis, which is really good. And also it's Choice Specs, not Scarf, uh, Kyogre. I mean, Specs just does so much damage, but Scarf is like, you come in and you just do stuff, right? It's too, it's too good not to run, in my opinion, but Specs works too, as it seems. Like, the guy is literally top 5, so I'm not gonna judge you know, the set, I would run Scarf, but if he runs Specs to this much success, then, you know, that's great. Well, anyway, and then there's a little bit of this, and unfortunately that's the case with these games, is that you want to have Roost, Recover, Wish, Protect, so we're just waiting for an opportunity to switch, which will come eventually, I hope, but... There is a Paralysis, which is really handy, so now a Dark Pulse is probably, oh sorry, the Taunt is gonna block the Roost, and now the Dark Pulse, I'm pretty sure, will be enough. No, it's not, it's actually only 20, look at that. 
but opposing Veltal also has Oblivion Wing, so I think I'm just gonna skip a little bit because we don't really want to see all this. Okay, and then there is a switch to ho -Oh. and ho -Oh, uh, of course, still massively, specially defensive Pokemon. Crazy, crazy, really crazy. Uh, and there's a very fortunate flinch for us, which basically puts that in check. So he says, okay, nah, I'm just gonna go back into Eveltal, which bites the dust, finally, which is good news for us. <coughs> and here is a taunt on the ho -Oh, because ho -Oh has that Thunder Wave, and I'm pretty sure it has Roost. Did we see Roost yet? We did not see Roost yet, but, uh, you know, it could happen, so... Ferrothorn actually is the play here. Origin Pulse does a lot of damage to the Ferrothorn, and then I'm pretty sure another one just kills. Ah, wait, there is no specs anymore, so it can switch out for the more reliable option. But here is something weird. Kyogre is faster than Hollow for some reason that maybe I'm just, you know, not seeing. But anyway, there is an Ice Beam and there is a kill. And this battle took Ox. Actually, it wasn't 1600, it was 1792. That's a very high rated battle right So here. I'll show you guys two more battles because these battles tend to be very long. And if you are enjoying this, then, you know, reach out to Ox or me, whatever. Uh, definitely happy to share more, but let's just do these two because he says these are much more interesting. So this one, if I remember correctly, is... is this ladder? No, it is ladder. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, here we go. Eternatus comes in, Eveltal. Versus Eveltal was the lead, and then of course he switches, and Genesect is apparently a good check to Eternatus with Ice Beam. Um, there's a U-turn that does a lot of damage, all things considered, and then Recover, preventing some sort of weird chip, I'm guessing, and then Thunder Wave the Eternatus, and Toxic the ho -Oh, which if I was Pokemon, I would just remove Toxic from the game, like completely because this move is absolutely cringe and I really don't enjoy any sort of meta game which revolves around using it so anyway here is a substitute from the Zygarde and the Zygarde get power construct which is pretty people huge because <laughs> it becomes this you know crazy ass looking cell complete thing um, and here is a Kyogre switch because they are expecting ho to come in and it's a very good prediction and Eternatus is the answer to this, but Eternatus, is it really the answer to this? Mm, I would say it is not, once again. This is the second battle where Eternatus being an answer is not an answer, right? So Anyway, here's more Shadow going for Low Kick, and Low Kick does a ton of damage. It's so good in Ubers. Like, Low Kick, Grass Knot is really, really good in Ubers. It's very, you know, it's, it's just so good. Everything is heavy, huge. It's, really good. Uh, anyway, so here's Eveltal that got glared and it actually got paralyzed, so we're gonna see the same thing going over again, so here's a knockoff and again, pay attention, 30% life orb. Here's a taunt, so here's a U-turn, okay, thank god, I was about to skip some turns, but because of the U-turn I'm not gonna. So here is Marshadow Ice Punching the Zygarde, unfortunately Zygarde is not gonna do too much, um, pretty sure that the Shadow Sneak Oh, just ice punches again, never mind. Um, yeah, so there's a switch and there's another switch. This is nice because the water spout now takes a life. Maybe, no, I'm pretty sure this dies. Yep. Water spout just eats. Water spout is too good. Kyogre, probably number one mega, not mega, uber Pokemon in my opinion. Of course, my opinion is a little biased towards it because I love the scarf set and I have advertised it many times. And also, I am not top 5 in Ubers, but Kyogre is definitely a Pokemon I would always put on my team. I'm kind of confused why there's no Primal Groudons running around. I think none of the replays that he shared had Primal Groudon. <laughs> I might be wrong. Eveltal, of course, comes in as a answer to Water Spout and yet again, it is not. So, this is what we're like seeing here and there is a more shadow versus Eveltal. Um more shadow of course has enough to unless this is bad no. Yeah. It, it's it's fine. It's it's yeah. It is what it is. This thing dies and here comes the ho ho back at full because of re uh, regenerator which is a massive 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 ability like <laughs> literally massive. Ox also asks in uh, in the chat if he has scarfed more shadow but stallion does not answer and another one like all of the gale 
all of these kills in this uh, uh, in this battle are uh, water spout, which is insane. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, well, let's see what happens here. Is this a double? No, it's not a double. Hmm. This might have been not too good. Okay, bulk up happens. Never mind. Thousand arrows does 77 with a crit, which is really unfortunate. Close combat though, barely kills, barely kills. Here's a thousand arrows. So that could have been a choke. Will it be a choke? Let's see, Kyogre comes in and Kyogre goes for Origin Pulse. Zyger dies and then here's a Marsh Shadow at full. Goes for low kick, does 97 straight, but it's not Sash indeed. So that was really close. They have a little discussion in the chat that says, it was a 50-50 roll, uh, uh, they choked, and yeah, it was, so, came down to a roll, came down to a miss, but very good battle. And now let's move into the battle of the, you know, of the evening, and that will be this battle. And here is, I'm gonna say it again, you've seen Orenberry Blissey, but you have not seen Orenberry Eveltal, actual meta. This is high ranking game let's go man is insane okay so slurpuff comes in this is works well with because now it has a berry taunts the slurpuff so it cannot stick you up and oblivion wing happens dealing a lot of damage misty explosion knocks it down to 30 he eats the orange berry to do three percent hp recovery for himself landorus comes in this is not therian landorus this is a normal landorus uh and ox says berry better than boots which I, you know, fully support. Like, it's crazy, but I fully support that. Meteor Beam Eternatus, though, and that shit misses. This has to be the saddest thing you can see, is missing a charge-up move that takes two turns or an item slot. Uh, one does not simply work well with Barry, is what Ox says in the chat, which is true. One does not simply work with Barry, but Eveltal apparently is good with Oren. Of, with the Oren. With the Oran. Okay, so there was a paralysis which is really useful to us. Um, we're gonna hope for another one or we're just gonna get the power construct, which we get right here. Uh, and then we're gonna just knock out the Eternatus, I'm pretty sure, and it is dead. And now we are gonna see a Eveltal of their own versus Eveltal of our own. And now look! Taunt, okay? And knockoff does 25. You know what that means? That means that if he had Life Orb over Orenberry, that knockoff would have killed. If he had... Li let, let, let it settle down for a little bit. If he had life orb or boots or something, the knockoff would have killed Eveltal and this 1v1 Eveltal thing would have been a loss for us. But because he had berry and because he ate it, he survived. Orenberry Eveltal is literally viable in top 5 Ubers. If you are playing Ubers and you're playing Eveltal, you know, life orb, mmm. Heavy duty boots, mmm. Whatever, dark glasses, mmm. Orenberry. Orenberry, Eveltal. Just slaps, look at that. It's slappage. Nasty plot? Why would you nasty plot? This is a dark pulse to the face, has sash. This game is over because we have sucker punch anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this battle was literally 1856 if you don't believe me 1856 or 51 to 56 Orenberry Eveltal works so that is it for today um thank you again ox for uh, or ox04 for the replays and for reaching out you're a real champ for this you know amazing stuff here and it's just crazy it's just absolutely crazy that after three years of my Orenberry Blissey someone actually says Orenberry is actually viable, which is mind-blowing. So, if you're interested more, then please reach out, you know, in the comments. I'm sure he will see it. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.